Let's turn on the intro for news one. Here it is. This is Alpsy Sprocket here, and we are continuing Alpsy Sprocket's spooky street today with Gothic Three Forsaken Gods Enhanced Edition. Joe Wood Productions presents PBC PTSH Trine V Two Point Zero One Point Zero Eight, and the music just swelled up there. I've never played this game. I've never played any of these games, but it's spooky. There's a skull. There's an axe. There's a the word Gothic. Let's start a new game. Do you really want to start a new game? Yes. Ooh, spooky loading screen. And a lizard? There's another lizard. That's a slightly larger lizard. Ooh. Castle. I'm not trying to make fun of this game. It's just, I believe it's a pretty old game at this point. Yeah, I don't know what gave me that impression. Uh... But I think it's a got a bit of age on it. And for Alzi Sprocket's Spooky Street, we gotta keep up the spooks and the scares. The war in Murtana ended two long years ago, and its people have been struggling with an uneasy peace. The land has split. Four factions emerging within the territory, each bent on rebuilding what was lost and making best with what little remains. To the south, Thoris unified the wandering bands of orcs into a volatile nation of warriors, still resentful of those that denied them victory. To the north, Gorn commands Gotha and Bering, standing guard with careful disdain over Thoris and the rapidly swelling orc war machine. Weary of an eventual attack, Gorn can wait no longer. An assault is launched, and the war breaks out. To the west, tired of conflict, the brothers Enog and Anog hold the people of those lands together in fragile peace, trying to ignore the danger of war from both Gotha and Trellis, and pick up the fragments of their shattered lives. To the east, Lee segregates his people from the bubbling cauldron of political unrest, convinced that men will eventually tire of war and that peace will prevail. From an unknown dimension, the nameless hero and Zardus watch their former companions and argue bitterly about the decisions and directions being taken by each as they attempt to secure freedom for their people in this time of unrest. Mirroring the events that grip Mertana, the two begin to argue violently about the fate of the land both men have struggled over for so long. Zardus's position sides with Lee. Men will eventually tire of war, and peace will prevail. Enraged, the hero disagrees arguing that a peace between Thoris and Gorn must be forced if there's to be any at all. Infuriated that the peace he sacrificed his very freedom for could be squandered, the nameless hero flies into an uncontrollable rage intent on returning to Murtana and righting the wrongs that afflict his people. Learning of his intention, Zardus bars the hero's path beseeching him to hold his ground and listen to reason. But there is nothing that can be said or done to sway destiny. Both men, masters of ancient forces and skilled in the art of war, draw on powers that would tear normal men apart. The battle that follows, an untold legend in its own right, is brief, and the nameless hero walks away but at a grave and terrible cost. Weak, beaten, and confused, the nameless hero awakens. Okay, so we're, uh, the same character from the last game? I have not played any of these games, so I don't know. I'm, I'm scratching. Alright, that's a good start. Quick slot bar at the lower edge of the screen, I see it. Number keys to switch to them. Press 2 to light your torch. Um, and two to put it away. Must be a sword around here somewhere. I may find a sword with the blacksmith, too. 
Um, left click. Okay, great. So two for the to- Whoa, boy. Oh. This is the scariest part of the game. Oh, no. Put the torch away. Um. I don't know if this game's supposed to work on modern computers. Yeah, let's not use a torch ever again, I guess. Let's... Orc Slayer, Rusty Sword, bring money. Take it all. I'm sure no one will argue about that. Can I... That's the pause button. Caps Lock is auto lock? Nope. So, have you come back to see the mess you left behind? I left no mess behind. I left you all with a chance, an opportunity, to work towards a Mertana that knows peace. None of you took that chance. And now look at what's happening. Well, it's your friends who have been making trouble. That is no reason for you to sit down and do nothing, while our land is drenched with the blood of our fellow men. It seems the gods weren't the reason for all our fighting after all. You people only live for your own selfish aims, and will think nothing of spilling a little blood to fulfill them. I've returned to put an end to all of this. How much time have I lost? How long have I been asleep? Now, how much time have I lost? How long have I been sleeping? On the way to Geldern, one of our caravans found you battered and half dead. Obviously an orc attack. You've been out for about a week since we found you. Where's my equipment? I'm certain you'll find it with the orcs. Orcs, are you sure? Orcs? Are you sure? Yes. The whole atmosphere is tense. My people live in fear of orcs. They've started brutally attacking our caravans. Merchants dead and material lost. I get such reports almost every day. Oh, uh, what do they attack? Caravans. Why do they attack your caravans? Trellis and Gotha are at war, and orcs are not in the habit of paying for anything. Your people? What do you mean? After you left Mertana, my brother and I became caretakers of Geldern and Sildin. Inog looks after Geldern, and I look after Sildin. Why don't you retaliate? Why don't you retaliate? That is not an option. The people of Mertana have seen too much of war to be a part of it again. We decided to keep Geldern and Sildin out of the war. Uh, and... So, first things first, perhaps the scariest thing about this game so far, aside from everything else that we've seen, uh, sword is the spooky, scary fact that our player character is kind of a jerk. I don't really like the player character. He seems he seems a bit rude and unlikable, which is a great sign. I'll take all of the food. I don't. There's more weapons. Sure. Why are there just bundles of weapons all over the ground? Who left these there? That's dangerous. Oh boy. Um. Maybe I should lower my mouse sensitivity. Yeah, that worked a little bit. I'm, I'm, uh oh. First person view. Honestly, I think. Well, space bar is. Put away your weapon. Whoops. You're smarter than you look. I can I can crouch to dance. So that's good. And shift is nothing. C is character. Oh. Uh, why did games make C character? Okay. Uh we're level ten. Why did games start you at high Ugh Maybe this is a sequel to another game. I mean it is, but like Another game called Gothic 3. I don't really know. But it, the game has specced me into specific skills already. Which is weird. Unless level 10 is like... Nothing. There we go. Inventory. Required strength 60. Required strength 120. What is my strength? 125. Uh... How do I equip... Sword sword ring 
How do I equip ring? Ring. Ring? Can I can I put on the ring? As soon as the hero has learned a spell, a corresponding icon will appear in color in the book. Icons can then be dragged and dropped into a quick spot. Do I know spells? I know summon mim. Oh, that says animals. <laughs> Wait, I have. Is it two uses of it or? No, oh, okay. And I know a poison spell. Okay, this game is kind of neat, but uh, it's very old. It's not necessarily a bad thing, but for learning the game, it's a bit funky. And I don't know how to put the ring on. Can I? Can I drag the ring onto me? Can I? Is a casket and a bundle. Oh, bundles of weapons don't include weapons, even though I was told to look for a weapon. That's good to know. And I guess I'll cast a spell. Left click in order to cast a spell. Hold down the left button still. The oh, there's spell failure. I love that. I'll tear your head off. Uh oh. Oh, poison is a hostile spell. Oh no, I seem to have accidentally... <laughs> oh no! No, I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I didn't mean to! Well, I guess this is what we're doing now. <laughs> Alright, I don't have a shield. I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I don't want to watch the intro cutscene again! I'm just gonna run away! Uh oh. I appear to have died. Thanks for the gold, hero. <laughs> Wait. Oh, I'm alive again. Oh. Okay. Put the sword away. He just he just stole my money. To be fair, I did attack the town on accident. So I suppose that's and he only took ninety gold. I guess it depends on what version of game, you're, what kind of game you're playing, whether or not that's a lot of gold or not. Um, are these people still dead? Oh no, good, they recovered. Is everybody just invincible around here? How do I? Oh, you're you're still wounded from it when I hit you. My apologies. Um, this. In the beginning, the nomads roamed the land. Oh no, and we found lore. Led the way. Stop. I already knew that. <laughs> this is the most dislikable character I've ever played the game. Why do I have to play this guy? Potion against diseases. He's the least charismatic jerk that I've ever. I'm the lockpick. I'm sorry. Say that again. I'm your lockpick. Okay. I thought he said I want a lockpick or I am a lockpick, but uh, he, he needs a lockpick, which isn't what I thought he said, so that's good. Hi. Are you from Silden? Greeting, citizen. Are you from Silden? <laughs> no, I've come from Gotha to live here. Why have you left Gotha? Gorn has been forcing citizens to join his army against their will. I ran away the day his soldiers came to my door. What's not happened fighting to your for your land an honorable duty? Warrior, spare me your what teachings. Is happening? Not all of us can be soldiers. Without us, you would have nothing to defend. We make the land you defend. Uh, teach me something about being a smith. Teach me something about being a smith. Oh, he, he will actually do that. Okay. What do I have to know about mining? That's expensive. That. Trade. Buy goods, sell them, or barter. Okay, so there's, there's two rusty swords. I don't think I need either of those. So sell those. I don't know how to put this ring of health on. Oh, I have bread. I forgot that I have bread. Uh, 
The torches are dangerous. And I don't need this casket, probably. And I'm guessing these are for a quest, but I'll sell them anyways. Gold... Oh, you have to do it like that. Like the gold fallouts. That's the only thing I have to compare it to. Raw steel. Yeah, maybe I... I don't think I need any of that. Let's just take the money. Hopefully, I won't lose it all. I was kind of hoping... Water barrel. Ooh, I can just press this for a little while to heal up from all the accidental murder I did. Or actually, I guess I didn't actually murder anybody, so it's fine. Soldier's sword. Uh, crush. Crush splitter. I need to see crush splitter, please. Ah, yes. I can't use it. Numerous shields in half and has seared fear in human soldiers across the land. Well, I, I own it now. This is a heirloom sword, which is has seen many battles, but it can deal a lot of damage in the right hands. Okay. Yeah, this, this must be like... post-game DLC kind of deal. Because... Although, no, because it feels like my stats are terrible. And why can I just take everything? Are people just not catching me, stealing their things? Are they happy to give me these things, even though I'm a jerk to everybody? Also, can I do anything at this statue? Oh, my mana doesn't regenerate. Grant me magic power. Grant me magic power. Oh. Yeah, th this just feels like a post-game thing. Grant me a life force. Because there's just a shrine here that does. Grant me a life force. Grant I love walking up statues and asking you for life force. Serious. I need to be serious. I don't have enough experience. What do you mean? Do I have any experience? Grant me no. a life force. No. There we go. <laughs> Do I have any? I have 150 experience, apparently. But that said... That said I didn't have enough. I'm confused. Campfire. <laughs> okay. This is spooky. This is scary. I need to remember this is... This is Alzheimer's Rocket Spooky Streak. This is a spooky adventure. I'm sure you have something else to do. His lips don't move. Leave me alone. Or is that our character being a jerk? It could be. Oh no, more lore, Maybe but this gives me experience. Alchemy. Great. I need a lockpick. Good to hear, bud. Ooh, a cooking pot. I cannot create anything at the moment. <laughs> hey! You there. Yes? I'm not from around here, you see. I I'm looking for the inn. There are a... Trade? What? I'm sorry. What? Why do you have... I was under the impression these were, like... Special weapons. Like, Orc Slayer sounds like the name that you give and a particular weapon that is done well. But, uh, apparently not. It's 5,000 gold for that sword. There are a few. Oh, well, there are a few. Now, you don't understand. I'm not here for an inn. I'm here for THE inn. THE inn? The one that she runs. What are you talking about? Seems you aren't from around here. Have you not heard about her? Well, I don't know what you're talking about, so I'm going to take my leave now. Characters. No. No. <laughs> I thought I was stuck for a second there. What is this game? 
This is... This is spooky for whole other reasons that I did not even realize. But it's a chest here with things in it. I'll take more of people's things. <gasps> Lockpicks. Take it all. And take... Take the meat. I cannot create anything at the moment. Look at all these yummy foods. <laughs> this game truly is interesting. If if I had the time to delve into a new game like this, I think this might be interesting. But the problem is, I would need to. I think I need. I would need to do some uh, work to get it. You know, a bit more modernized. I got a fireball. Or did I get? Did I learn Fireball, or have do I have a scroll for Fireball? That's the question. Well, I don't see it anywhere. There it is. The good old Fireball. I haven't learned it yet, so I don't, I don't know. Okay, let's let's leave this town and continue our spooky ventures. That's cooking pot again. Nissen. How's it going? How's it going? You know what? I wasn't feeling too good till last night, but now I'm doing real great. What happened? Oh? What happened between then and now? I found happiness, friend. You see, since my marriage has ended, I've been a little low. But last night, I found the happiness right here, inside this little town. If you know what I mean. You look a little low yourself. Go talk to her. All right. I have to go now. Great. Why did these people... Why do these random people have... All these items? <laughs> Why? Doesn't make any sense. Get these. I don't... I won't need them. I won't need crush. It's worth 11,000 gold? What? <laughs> Why is it worth 11,000? That's a ridiculous amount of money, I think. The game hasn't yelled at me for taking things yet. Okay, I'm not doing a very good job. Ah, huh? I took my sword out again. Because there's no jump. Button to jump is pull out your sword and aggravate everybody. Ah. Uh, okay. Evert. I am seeking information. I am seeking information. Well, I, I am the spasm. champion fighter in these parts, and that is all you need to know. Great. How about a contest? Yes. Would like to practice. I would like to practice. Go to the keeper of the arena and get him to set up our match. I Very see. well. Prepare to lose your title. Okay, let's. I should eat all my food so that way I'm healed. Um. Restores lost endurance. How do I eat food? How do I eat it? Do I have to move it here and then... Amazing. I can't eat any more food. I can't eat more bread at least. Alright, let's try... Let's try that. Got one of those... Yeah, I've got a stew here. Let's eat the stew. Five. Perfect. And then six. There we go. And then more bread. Uh, roast meat. Eat that. There we go. Put, Put the sword. Good decision. All right, 
We're going to do you this. You may have seen Battle Warrior, but you haven't faced the likes of me. Uh, I'm looking for information. Or not. Bye. Looking for the arena guy, but I don't know where he is. What is... Is this a cave with more things I can... I... I appear to be stuck. Well... I think this is where our journey ends. <laughs> this has been Gothic 3 for Alvesy Sprocket Spooky Streak. And man, I gotta say, we haven't seen any of the scary weird monsters that this game shows off. Or any of the orcs, or any of the evil gothic -y things. But we have discovered evil in that the, our player character is a massive jerk. And everyone in town is a massive jerk and is annoying. There's no likable people so far in this game. And I can see through the world, so that's interesting. Uh, and there's something going on in this town, but we'll never discover it. Because, as the spooky music is suggesting, I think we're trapped here for the rest of our lives. So, <laughs> that's all for now. Maybe I'll play some more of this later on after the spooky streak is over, but we'll see. I think there's other games that I gotta play, although this has been entertaining. I also I can't take out my sword or anything. So yeah, I am I am just stuck here. So that's good. Um in the meantime, thank you all so much for watching. Remember to be nice to other people and be awesome out there, and I'll see you in the next one for whatever followed this. Spooky! Ooh, spooky! Oh, I'm in first person! Oh, god, the first person is possibly even worse. Goodbye. I guess I'll save the... No, I guess I'll save this game. <laughs> the spookiest thing is that I can come back to this anytime. Spooky. Goodbye.